What is going on fellow outlaws outlaw Gary here and in this video We have something super special for you guys. That's honestly one of the best ways to make money in Red Dead Online Now of course if you enjoy this video and it helps you out Be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on the little bell to get notified when I upload a video and drop the video like but only if it helps you and of course if you're a returning subscriber Hopefully you guys entered into my gold giveaway that we're doing as I now have 407 gold and I want to give back to the community that made all this possible. So without further ado, let's get into how to make some money in Red Dead Online. Now, you're going to want to come to this location on the map right in the upper Montana area, right above Blackwater. Now, the reason why this spot is so important is because it's a fish farm. That's right, dudes. And fish sell for pretty good amount of money. Now, I started doing this about five seven minutes ago before starting to record i want to showcase how much fish i have in my inventory right now i have quite a bit you know not not a crazy amount but i have quite a bit of fish and with this method you don't need a fishing rod now i gotta give a big shout out to case uh ciderman stuff that's his name um for for reaching out to me on twitter and saying garrett i found this new fishing spot out and of course he's a part of the community and these videos are a lot made possible because of you guys that watch every day. But as you can see here, dudes, there is literally a ton of fish. Now, I'm going to pick all these up and I'm going to showcase to you how this is even possible. So I think in all, this is about, I would say, 15 to 20 fish. Each of these fish is selling for different price points. And the butcher being so close, this makes it one of the best ways to make money in Red Dead Line. But the big question is, Garrett, how do you do this? Well, it's pretty simple. You're going to need a dead animal. Now, around this area, there are plenty of animals you can kill, especially up here near Rig Station. There's tons of deer. Even right here in between Upper Montana River and Blackwater, there's deers that run around there as well. Now, getting a deer is one of the easiest parts of this whole situation, of this, of this fish farm. The hardest part is getting the... I guess the placement of the deer correctly. I highly recommend to make this go as smooth as possible is to place the deer a little far away from the rock. And just so you know where to place it for yourself, this is where I am on the map. You guys can check it out right here. I'm like right next to the, like if you go from the V all the way up, that's where I'm at or right below this indentation um, or just look at the water indentation right here. You almost want to be just on the cusp of that black line. Now, the reason is because when the fish go to eat the deer, because as you know, uh, the, the fish want to feed on the deer's body. But unfortunately for them, uh, the deer is on land. And I don't know if you guys know this, but fish can't survive on land. So they have a pretty hard time surviving. So we're going to pick up all this fish. And right now, at this current moment, we have $1,194. At the end of this recording, we're going to see how much money we end up with by just simply picking up fish. I didn't use my fishing rod. I didn't do anything special. I literally placed down a deer, went to go grab a drink, came back, and there was fish here. Now, this reminds me a lot of the waterfall method we had about two weeks ago, which unfortunately was recently patched in 1.04, I believe, or maybe even patch 1.03. Now, of course, if you don't act on this swiftly, it will be patched. So if you wanna make some additional money, if you have to do some homework or you have um if you have to eat and you don't want to like sit there and run around and kill things throw down a deer and just wait for the fish to arrive once they arrive pick them up and then rinse and repeat it's pretty simple it's actually really really good money and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how much money we make from this one run which honestly might surprise you guys the amount of money we make so in the last few days I've posted many money-making guides from the cougars to the grizzly bears to the grizzly bear cougar to uh, the fishing with the wagons. Dudes, I've done literally every money-making guide and every possible way to make money here on the channel. Trying to keep you guys up to date with the new ways to put some money in those pockets. Because as you guys know, things in Red Dead Online are pretty pricey. But if you can find methods like this pretty consistently that make you a few extra bucks here and there to be able to afford all the luxuries in Red Dead Online, then I guarantee you there's going to be some really good things coming in the future. Now, we discussed earlier uh, this week about all the new updates coming to Red Dead Online, and hopefully you guys are excited for all the future DLC. As dudes, we have now collected over 15 fish. I'm just trying to see how many fish we've collected. 
I've been trying to count them all, but dude, it's been really hard because I'm commentating and trying to count. But we've collected quite a bit of fish already. So let's catch, let's grab these two right here. And then let's also grab these like seven over there. And from that point, we're gonna go into the city, the Blackwater and come back. Now, the only downside to this, if you leave this deer here, it will not stay here. You need to take the deer with you. I know that sounds stupid, but to really make this work, you want to take the deer with you and put it on your horse. So we're going to we're going to pick him up. And actually, for the sake of this recording, we're going to leave him here because Kevin is actually behind me, so the deer won't despawn, which is actually great. So by the time we get back, there'll be more fish there. It actually works really well, dudes. <laughs> so if you have a friend that can go AFK behind your deer as you guys rotate uh collecting fish, this might be a really good money farm for you and your friends to do, especially if you guys post up in different parts of this waterway. So this spot works really well. Another spot that works really well is also right here. Around this spot right here also works. So if you wanna put your fish somewhere around, your, your deer around there, that area should work as well. We've mainly, oh, I just kicked the hell out of a fish. Uh, we've mainly only tried this area uh, to get it really working. And honestly, again, big thanks to Kay Siderman to making this possible. Like I knew, I knew for a while that that dead animals attract other animals because they they eat the and they eat the flesh or they eat the the animal itself. Just like pigs are attracted to humans and they'll eat the humans. Um, same thing with other animals. I just wasn't aware that the same effect happened with fish. So it happening with fish is perfect. It just makes fishing super easy, and you can also save some money by not spending any cash on a fishing rod. Now, of course, dudes, this is going to get patched. And if you do come here while you're doing this method and you think you can just go fishing while you're here, if you do that, you gotta make sure you go pretty far down away from the deer. If you try to take out your fishing rod and do this, it actually prevents the fish from going towards the deer. Fun fact. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on our horse right now. I believe we've collected all the fish possible. Is this a fish over here? Nope, it's, it's just a rock. It's, it's, that's just a rock. So we're gonna jump on our horse and we're gonna head to Blackwater now and we're gonna see how much money we've made. Again, we're at $1,194. So let's head into Blackwater right now and see how much money we make. And by the way, if you wanna get out of that area, you just gotta go to my location right here. Uh, just go from this spot over to this area and then climb up. You could also just take the the shore all the way around, but it gets a little bit difficult. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna whistle for my horse. He'll despawn, and then he'll be uh, he'll appear right next to me. It works pretty well. Pulling up to the butcher, let's figure out how much money we've made. Now, we have quite a bit of stuff we can sell. So let's first get rid of all the stuff that that is not a fish. We're gonna get rid of the scent glands, we're gonna get rid of the animal fat, and the poor musk rat pelt that I had gotten before I started recording. Now, when we have the bluegills, each bluegill sells for 75 cents. That's $7.50. Then we have the rock bass selling for $1 each, dudes, making us 10 bucks. Then we have the poor redfin pickerel, which i that's the one I kicked, so rest in peace. It's only worth 40 cents. The smallmouth bass, though, I have nine of them, worth $18 for nine. That's great. Then we have the poor small bass. Those are the ones I kicked as well. Only worth $1.60. We have largemouth bass selling for $2 each. We have six of those for 12. Poor rock bass, 40 cents. Redfin pickerel, $1 each. We have six, so that's $6. Then we have chain pickerel for $1. We have four, so that's $4. And then poor blue gill for 30 cents. So right now we have $11.95, $1,195. Let's sell our fish and see what we get. Starting off with the rock bass. Let's drop all these right now, all 10. They've got to go. Next up, we got the bluegill, $7.50. That's some seriously good money. They're all gone right there. Next up, we got the largemouth bass, $12 because each one's $2. Oh my goodness, that's good money. I got it. Like, dudes, I'm telling you, this is the best way to make money. You just, oh my. The amount of money we're making right now is crazy. Selling smallmouth bass, $18 for all nine. Like that, just made 18 bucks. Then poor redfin pickerel, selling that one as well. Poor rock bass, 40 cents. Not much money, but hey, it's money. We got the red fin pickerel, perfect. $1 each, six bucks in our pocket. Super nice. Chain pickerel as well, $4 for four. This is just this is just perfect. And lastly, we have the poor gill for the mere 30 cents. And we are now at 12.55. Dudes, we just made so much 
freaking money. Like, you, you guys saw how quick I just sold all those fish. You now have $1,255.93. Of course, dudes. You guys can do this in your own lobby. If it doesn't work, make sure you guys follow the tips and tricks I provided in this video to ensure it does. Grab a deer. Do not pull out your fishing rod and fish. Only pull out your fishing rod to get the fish really going. Get them to like spawn and then put it away and you just wait. Do homework. Watch TV. Eat some food. Relax. Talk to your girlfriend. Your boyfriend. Your gender neutral other. Whoever you're dating or whatever you're dating. Talk to them. If you're not dating anybody, well, bust out the lotion. Whatever you gotta do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If this puts some extra money in your pockets as personally, I had a really good time filming this and hopefully you guys had a great time watching. And I'll see you guys later today with a brand new video as I upload at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., and 5 p.m. every single day. Later, guys. Oh!